Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. He's so boring. <laughs> The gym we're trying today is Crossbill 200. Oh, the expensive one. Yeah. Crossbill is a Scottish distillery hailing from Glasgow's East End. They also have a shop and popular gin school where guests can distill their own unique creations to take away and enjoy. There's something rather unique about this gin. Its rare special edition dry gin is produced using the juniper of a single specimen bush aged around 200 years old, did you plant it? <laughs> that grows wild in the remote rugged moorland <laughs> in the Scottish Highlands. Sorry, uh, sorry, yeah, go on. <laughs> Once a year, the juniper from this ancient bush is gathered by hand along with wild rosehip that grows nearby. It's then taken to Glasgow where it's then slowly macerated and distilled in a copper pot Bay Marie still. As we said, it contains just two botanicals, juniper and rosehip. That's amazing, isn't it? And, it is. it's, and it's actually bottled at, at distilled strength. So once it's distilled, that's it. That's how it comes out. It comes in a 50 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 59.8% and costs around 90 pounds. So they'll be making a classic gin and tonic and garnishing with a flamed orange twist that could go dramatically wrong. As always, be trying it neat first. Fire extinguishers on standby. They are indeed, yeah. Our camera operative is there and ready. There we go, guys. Look at that. The fact that it actually comes from a single, a single kind of bush that's 200 years old is absolutely yeah. amazing. Right. Oh, I can't, don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. As Paul would say, don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to swear. No, then. I would never do that. I would never do that. Are we ready? Oh, a little squeak. There oh. we go. Now, we tried this at Junipalooza, and the moment Oscar had it, he was like, we need a bottle. That's it. We need to get it. I was like, okay. Oh, that smell is so nice. There we go. Let's put it pride of place there. Oh. God, it doesn't smell like 59.8%. <laughs> Do you know what? Because it's unadulterated, it's two botanicals. There's rose hip there that gives it a kind of sweetness it and stuff. And then you've got this, this really old juniper and it comes from the, the one tree. Um, oh. T it tastes like there's a lot more in there, but it, it isn't. tells like that it actually tastes like there's loads going yeah. on, but it really isn't. Do you know what the, what I get from it? It's very woody. Don't you? You'll evaporate all the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> a ninety quid a bottle. Yeah, we don't. Don't, want, don't yeah, light don't a match. match. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very very woody. Yeah. Like I said before about a few that are kind of sawn wood. Oh, the smells amazing. Yeah. This this is like you've got the, you, the, the a big chunk of pine wood and you're sawing it. That's that's the flavour I'm getting from it. It really it really does open up your nostrils. It's you can, so oily like, the, as yeah. well. The smell's great, right? It's um, it, it's it just it's just like having an air waves. It just opens you up completely. Breathe in. Ooh, Ooh Betty. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> calm down. Don't you um, steal my line? No, it's um, as as you kind of breathe it in. You're getting all the kind of tingling and you're getting the eucalyptus feel from it's it. It's such is from the a juniper. nice feeling in your mouth. Yeah. It, it isn't overly tingly, but it actually. It's just, it doesn't yeah. set you. It, it's it, warm, it does something to your mouth. It's, it's warm really and cooling nice. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's cooling. It's like putting an ice cube in your mouth, but then also eating a Bunsen burner. I don't know. <laughs> but the, the flavour profile in this is just extreme. It's extreme juniper. If you, if you like. I like my juniper and I like it really, really full on and head on. I think this is it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the flavour is intense and it's good. It's a good flavour. Yeah. I think over ice, you're just looking at winner yeah. there. Yeah, uh, uh, 100%. Forget, forgetting tonic. Well, I know 100%. we always do gin and tonics, but this over ice is an absolute winner. Mm. This in a martini will probably be the best martini you've ever had. Mm. I yeah. like it. <laughs> it's lovely. Right. Let's put it with a tonic. Mm. 
So let's give it a go. Cheers. Cheers. As you can see, it's gone kind of milky. Milky. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love, I love, I love gins that do that. There you anyway. go. Look, looking at TV. And um, we didn't burn the place down. And I hope you, you weren't too kind of like shocked by my little flame thing that went on. I did my best. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Firstly, you wouldn't know it's fifty nine point. Was it fifty nine? Oh. Fifty nine point eight percent. You wouldn't know. And that's how it came out the steel. Um, I, I just can't get over for two botanicals the flavour that comes out of there. I mean, we, we got to meet the, the the chaps from from Crossbill, and they were fantastic guys. <laughs> really, really, really nice really fantastic guys. Fantastic guys. This. This is something else. I mean, this this to me is on on a level with the stin. Oh wow! Yeah, that wow. Th this is just that little bit more junipery though, because obviously it's more junipery. Yeah. Um, it's it's a little bit sharp, and bitter, a little bit more bitter, I think, than theirs. It mm. is, yeah. It's, there, theirs is a little bit more. It's kind of a little bit more botanical because there are a lot more botanicals in there. Um, but I can't believe oh. it's just two botanicals mm. because the citrus in there is fantastic. It's piney. It's a good gin. Yeah, it's oily. I mean, it's really, really oily. Um, it doesn't burn. There's no harshness to no. it at all, bearing in mind the ABV. And we've only used one bottle of tonic between the two of these because I didn't want to kind of adulterate it too much. And no, we'll be drunk. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And that rose hip just puts that kind of sweet kind of Mm. sticky element on it just to kind of soften soften it, any, it, it, any you're right there. soften it, it there's a, a real that it tails off really soft and light mm. right it, it, it wakes you up it lets you know it's there at the start but it just tails off so smooth do you know what for me it feels like and i always do this and i don't mean to sound arty farty but um you know you know in a, on a cold morning and you get that kind of cold mist and you breathe that in that me to check. me is what it tastes like um you know being in scotland as well you get that cold morning you get a uh, cold yeah like air. like a morning dew but it's yeah. beyond that yeah it's that, more than the man from morning dew that freezing cold damp air yeah. that's what it's like that's what it tastes like and this is absolutely out of this world yeah, yeah. i'm i'm really impressed with that it's it's a very good gin it right. was nice neat and it's now, nice like that. For a size 50 bottle, it's 90 pounds. Um, and it might be out of your price range, but they do another gin. This gin here is with the same two botanicals, but obviously it's it's not a 200 year old bush they've got it from, it's, it's many bushes and stuff. Um, and it has an ABV of 43.8%, right? But it just, it still contains those, those two there, right? And that is at a price point of 38 quid. Mm -hmm. So if you Good want, price. you know, if you want to experience a bit of this flavor. The taste, yeah, but the not, taste, the, not yeah. the full sensation of it, but definitely the taste. And we tried this one, and this one is superb. They, they do another one as well, which they throw in an extra botanical, which is sumac, which we actually really love mm. on our on our um, salads, because we, we're really into our Turkish food and Greek food. Um, but yeah, so this, this contains staghorn sumac in there, um, and that puts a little different element on it. But if if, if this is out of your budget, which for a lot of people it might be out of their budget, because I mean it is it is a hefty price point, but it is spectacular. I'd say I'd say try this one, try this one because it is equally a fantastic gin. We tried that, but we just wanted to kind of go with this one because um, I it, love the fact it's milky. Yeah, and it was my birthday over the time of Juniper Loser, and this was one of my birthday gifts. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You I definitely know. deserve this. Oh, this was see? not a problem. I'm glad we got this. I'm glad you got to try their whole range. Yes, definitely. I have no problems with having this at all. Yeah, it's a, it's a great one. Um, obviously, every year they produce a different one. So it's, it's another 200 year old bush and stuff that they do. Um, and each year, dependent on how the year's been, it will taste slightly different. So um, we're looking forward to next year's. What um, that means is I'm going to be out at least 90 pounds every year. Yeah. For the next one. Let's score this. Let's score it. Right. Um, let's go. <laughs> 10. No brainer. No brainer. And yeah. Yep. Easily, easily a 10. Fantastic. Love it. And we will be reviewing this one. And we'll be reviewing this one. <gasps> 
Um, but yeah, it's 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 a beautiful gin. I mean, as if you're a gin collector and stuff, this has to be this has to be in your collection. Yeah, a gin I with agree. two botanicals. Come on, you've got to do it. I'm always a believer sometimes of less botanicals, aren't I? Yep, you are. Yep. But if it is out of your price range, go for the other one. Mm. Try, I, I, we, we've tried this and it is equally as good. Yeah, right? and also it's 43.8%. So it's not like it's like a weak gin. Mm. It's, a, it's a good ABV. And you know what? It's a fantastic dram as well. It's a and also program. meeting these guys, they're really nice fellas, yeah. right? Well done to you, and yeah, we no we were we were happy to spend our money with you guys yeah, because definitely at meeting you at the show, you were really genuine, really lovely, and you're so passionate about what you do. Um, one day we will come along and we will uh, spend a day at your gin school, um, making some of our uh, making some gin for ourselves. Indeed, we will. We will. We, we promise will. you that. And um, do your bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Also, drop a comment. Yeah, let us know what yeah, you do think. Yeah, do it. Drop a comment. Have a chat to us. Us. Have a chat to us. Speak to us on Instagram. Do whatever you want to do. Come on, have a chat. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.